Good day, fellow listeners. I hope that you enjoy the European List Symposium, despite the inconveniences. My name is Daniel Kofmański, and I'm going to tell you about the embeddable common list, uh, common list implementation with a rich ancestry, which may be included in other applications, not necessarily written in common list as a library. This has all started with uh, the Kyoto Common List in Japan at the University of Kyoto, in the University in Kyoto, at the Research Institute of Mathematical Science, uh, New Harbor Rosebot, uh, Data Generals, MV Mini Computers, which didn't have uh, existing list implementation for them but the institute has maintained some software written in Lisp, so they have decided to implement one. After some research, uh, Toichi Yuasa and Masami Haglia decided to implement uh, Common Lisp, the language, the first version of a book published by Guy Steele, and they have succeeded in 1984 and one year later, they have released it for the international audience. People around the world related to Common Lisp were very impressed because uh, Taichi and uh, Masami have created the implementation without any communication with other Common Lisp uh, vendors, solely based on the specification. Their implementation revealed many problems with the specification as it is right now, what led to fixing these problems, and in this sense, uh, the Kyoto Common Lisp influenced the final shape of the ANSI Common Lisp standard as we know it today. Uh, one of main goals, uh, which uh, Taichi and Masami wanted to achieve was portability of the implementation. So it will be easy to put it on a new machine even if, if they switch the hardware to something even else. That's why they have decided to implement, uh, implement uh, Kyoto Common Lisp Portuary in C, which was omnipresent on, for all machines uh, during that, that time. KCL implementation uh, may be characterized by the fact that it has a kernel written in C, that is a part of common list implementation, and the other parts are C sources, which are interpreted by the interpreted interpreter which works list in C. So when you load all list uh, sources, you have the common list implementation. Porting. Uh, this porting KCL was easy because it required only fixing some non-portable parts of uh, KCL kernel, and the rest was uh, perfectly able to, to run on any machine because it was Lisp. Uh, the compiler of KCL was also uh, related to C because it used C as its intermediate representation. So it loaded uh, Lisp source code, it uh, made some optimizations, and then it uh, outputted C code, which was then compiled by the host C compiler, like GCC. Um, this approach allowed them to uh, benefit from optimizations provided by the C compiler. Mm. It is worth noting that uh, KCL is one of the first uh, common list implementations mm. among uh, common, uh, CMO CL, which has emerged from the Spice Lisp. Uh, the build process of uh, KCL was incremental. First, uh, we, uh, you, you needed to build the kernel written in C, then you have loaded list source code, then you have loaded source code of uh, the compiler written in Lisp, then you have compiled the compiler 
with itself and loaded it, so it compiles now faster. And then you are compiling uh, modules of the Lisp sources and loading them, so with time the compilation was speeding up. In 1990, Taichi Yuasa published an article, Design and Implementation of Kiata Common Lisp, which uh, introduces the reader to uh, the strategies used to implement common lisp in C, like data structures used and uh, runtime choices, uh, stacks used in the runtime environment. Uh, it is worth reading for uh, aspiring ECL hackers because many concepts, many, uh, many parts of the system are uh, still part of the ECL design. Kyoto Common Lisp implementation spans a whole family of implementations. Um, Ibuki and Delphi uh, are commercial versions of KCL, and we don't know much about them because there is no source code. But AKCL, Austin Kyoto Common Lisp, uh, was created by William Shelter, who has started working on it in 1987 to support his work on the Maxima algebra system. In the meantime, uh, the AKCL, which contained many bug fixes, improvements, and ports of KCL to new architectures, was forked uh, into implementation called HCL, which is Embedded Extension Language for HPPA Solid Designer. And William Scheltner, uh, after some time, uh, renamed AKCL into GCL, GNU Common Lisp, and relicensed re it uh, under general public license. The other part of the family, EcoLisp, created by Giuseppe Attardi, uh, he has started working on it in 1990. And uh, he took source code of KCL and ported some patches from AKCL. Uh, he was working on it between 1990 and 2000. Um, after what time the development stagnated and the implementation was forked by uh, Juan Joe Garcia Ripo into ECL Spain. And after some time, after after, uh, with permission from Giuseppe Attardi, uh, Ecolisp and ECL Spain was uh, renamed and uh, consolidated into Embeddable Common Lisp as we know it today. With time, ECL had two new forks. One was Mankai Common Lisp, created by John Claude Badin, and the second one uh, was a uh, class created by Shifian Chefmeister. Uh, I met for C++ interoperability. Uh, a novelty which uh, Ecolisp, uh, which Giuseppe Attardi proposed over KCL was that uh, Ecolisp was a library which could be used by any application. Uh, KCL was meant as a standalone application which you have started like other applications like SBCL or, C or CCL. But um, this was meant as a library which will be used in other programs. Moreover, uh, ECHO is defined uh, something what was called a common runtime support, which uh, made available some low-level uh, primitives like memory management, dynamic loading, threads, input-output, which were abstracted for uh, languages implemented on top of it. So it was meant as a common runtime for multiple languages, not only common list like Prolog, like C, so they could be intermixed with each other. Mm. And then used uh, C uh, runtime doesn't doesn't provide many things which are necessary to to make, have a well-working language ecosystem. So common runtime support was more similar to JVM or Poplock, which which made um, possible, which make multiple languages uh, capable to play with each other. 
1995, uh, Giuseppe Atardi uh, published a paper, The Embeddable Common Lisp, which explained uh, multiple improvement of, improvements of Ecolisp over KCO. He has implemented green threads, the limit of continuations. Ecolisp wall, uh, was able to save Lisp and die, and die, a common feature in other Lisps. It, has, it had also some drawbacks because uh, many parts of data were stored as binary blobs, which were not very portable. Uh, C functions were serialized. Um, so this impacted negatively the portability of, of the software. Also, the development uh, near the end of 90s has stopped a little, and that leads to a fork called ECO Spain, which was later named Embeddable Common Lisp, uh, created by Juan Joe Garcia Ripoll, who has thrown away uh, common language support, uh, common runtime support, uh, and focused on the common Lisp which will easily interoperate with C runtime. So uh, he cleaned up the source code so it is more portable. He has replaced binary blobs with standard objects of the operating system as produced by the C compiler. Uh, what is very important, he has replaced a code working interpreter with the bytecode virtual machine so now C code of ECL is capable of compiling uh, Lisp sources uh, in a portable way. So you may, for instance, compile uh, bytecodes on, on Linux and run them on Android. A compiler which goes through C and then the C compiler can't do that because, of course, binaries are not uh, compatible. But either way, uh, bytecode compiled functions, closures, and natively compiled functions may easily interoperate. He has also focused a lot on foreign function interface. It is possible to inline C code in ECL. It is possible to call ECL functions from C. So full interoperation in both ways is possible. ECL is right now a uh, Third library, it may be compiled as a static library as well. So uh, he sacrificed some uh, general uh, design proposed by Giuseppe Atardi uh, for more robust and better suited common list for POSIX like operating systems, but it also works on Microsoft Visual Studio Compiler and other. Uh, other platforms, so this this POSIX needs to be uh, taken with a grain of salt. Uh, Joandro had two talks at Euro European Common List meetings in 2003 and 2008. He has created uh, an ECL news uh, blog where he uh, where he were publishing the releases interesting remarks about the language. This, all these posts are preserved on our blog on uh, commonlisp.net uh, commonlisp slash product ECL. Uh, but along these years, uh, Juanjo has tried to create community around the language to invite uh, independent contributors. And he had very moderate success of course, there were contributions from third-party people, but uh, he was the prime developer. And as, as, as he remarked in uh, his slides at ACLM 2008, ECL is mostly a one-man project. And looking at uh, the, static, the statistic of commits, it is true. I also recommend these talks because they are very technical, unlike this talk. Uh, they provide overview of many features of ECL and have uh, nice suggestions where we could move forward. Uh, despite uh, some disappointment with creating community, uh, with being unable to create uh, a community around the language which would contribute 
much more into it, uh, something that has happened because there was a fork called MKCL without any good reason. I think that it was very demotivating for Juanjo. Either way, uh, he has uh, applied many testing techniques uh, to ECL. He has created a test grid farm, uh, which has built it and tested ECL on multiple architectures, on multiple operating systems. So uh, each new version, each new version was much better, and regressions were very, very uh, seldom. Uh, final release of ECL by Juanjo's uh, ECL 13.5.1, and after that he has abandoned the project because he didn't have time for it anymore. And it was not maintained for two years. Then I have appeared and I wanted to contribute to the project because uh, it, had, it has been rotted a little. I had the problems to build it on, on my Linux platform. Uh, when I have managed to do that, uh, it sometimes had faulted. So I wanted to match my pull requests and there was no, nobody to merge them. Then I wrote to Juanjo and he has kindly agreed to pass the maintainership to me. And since 2015, I'm maintaining the software and I'm mostly working on improving its stability manual, implementing features uh, present in other implementations, fixing bugs found with uh, ANSI tests and other software. I will talk about it right now. A few days ago, that is on 24th of April, we have released a new version of ECL. Uh, after three years of development, after version 16.1.3, it has many stability improvements, many race conditions uh, fixed, manual improvements, features like package local nicknames, uh, it is very stable implementation compared to the last one. Uh, we have fixed also some metastability issues. Mm. The invaluable help to, to make the software better is, is a software which was inspired by Juanjo Test Farm. Uh, it is called CL Test Grid. It is maintained by Anton Podonasov. It basically takes all libraries in ECL in QuickList and builds them on the implementation and runs the test suites. So you may uh, run a CL test grid on two different versions of your implementation and create pivot tables. So you can see that this, is, this, wor this works worse than before because this library is now crashing, but here we have, uh, we have uh, a clear progress because this works. Thanks to that, we try to maintain uh, ECL, so it is monotic, monotically better. Uh, another useful uh, test suite is ANSI test create, created by Paul Diet. Uh, and uh, ECL internal regression tests, also CL bench uh, benchmarks. With this release, we have very important announcement. Uh, we have a new maintainer, a co-maintainer. Now there is two of us. Marius Gerber Schagen has officially joined the project as a co-maintainer, and he started contributing in 2018. Uh, he worked on numerous features like uh, atomic operations. And what is the most important news to take from this is that ECL is no longer a one-man project, and we are assembling the community. There is uh, a moderate but steady stream of contributions for, from other people. We have continuous integration, so we are getting better with, with every day. And our bus factor has doubled. So people love numbers, and you may have noticed that there are some pictures in this presentation. Originally it was all text, but my wife told me that it, it is impossible to, to listen to that without pictures, which may provide you some some um, visual point to focus. So here is here are some benchmarks. 
after implementing a specialized complex flow uh, representation for ECL that work was funded by the Rigetti Computing. Uh, here we can see that ECL is much faster than it was before, and it is even faster now than SBCL. We have to tell that uh, you need to declare what is the type of the variable, so that's, that's the way how to optimize it with unboxed, uh, unboxed uh, types, operations. And we count a lot more. In other numbers, we have around 8,000 commits after moving to Git. So Duranjo moved to Git in uh, 2001. Lib ECL, as well, is really small, and it may be even smaller, like three and a half of megabyte. Uh, Binaries which link to lib ECL are even smaller because it is measured in kilobytes. So it is a good tool to write user run tools in common disk which doesn't uh, increase the storage to, to store new tools. We have more open, we have more closed issues than open ones and we have plenty of C codes, around 46,000 lines of code and a little less Lisp code, but Lisp is more expressive, so it is it is actually more functionality in Lisp written. Uh, eight, uh, 28,000 lines of Lisp code and 18,000 lines of, for compiler. Uh, now I will provide a short description how from the C perspective looks the C runtime. Each native object is a C structure. This is inherited from KCL, and these structures are put in a Lisp union, in a C union, which is called Lisp union, and all references to Lisp objects are done with a type uh, which is defined to be a pointer to this Lisp union. This type is called CL object. So we have uh, uniform uh, access to, to all uh, common Lisp types. We still maintain uh, runtime support. It is not as elaborate as uh, as uh, common runtime support from Ecolist, but it provides common functionality like threads and memory management. Currently, we use GMP for big GNOME operations, and we use Bioinvasor garbage collector, but these modules are plugged, uh, possible to plug with other implementations. The API is defined, so it is just a matter of uh, modifying functions and a uh, few compilation flags. And we have two kinds of uh, foreign function interface. Uh, one is static, so we simply inline host to C code. It is very fast. Uh, and we have dynamic uh, foreign function interface, which is used by uh, CFFI because there are some problems with static SFI. Uh, I won't discuss it right now, but it is possible to actually make CFFI to use static linking, and then you have around 80 times faster uh, calling of C functions. Uh, Falso files are shared objects which are loaded with DL open, and then we uh, execute some in initialization code. Compiler is also capable of producing shared objects which will be linked with other C, uh, C libraries or other languages which use CADI to, to link with, with libraries. In other words, we could have create a library libmacrim.so and so and use it from, say, C++ application. Uh, we have a rich set of threading primitives, and these primitives are, are based on spin locks. Uh, and we have a very good manual documentation which describes how to use list from C and C from list, and how to mix them together, or how to just use list with list. Because ECL uh, is embeddable, but embeddability is just an option. It is also a standard implementation which may be run. It is run from Slime. Uh, it has Swamp ports. 
And now I will describe in a few words our compiler. It is fully written in common list. Whole language is available. There are no bootstrapping issues. That's thanks to the bytecodes virtual machine, which uh, heavily lifts the producing uh, conforming common list implementation. We may use C loss, we may use generic dispatch. We don't do that right now in the compiler, but there is nothing what would present, uh, prevent us from doing it. Uh, the compiler right now has three passes. One is for analysis, it, it reads uh, common list forms and produces internal representation and uh, does analy escape analysis, uh, code duplication, stuff like that. Then we have type propagation, that's the second pass, and the third pass is producing C code. That's our intermediate representation, which is then passed to the C compiler, which applies its own optimizations. This compiler is capable of producing very fast code, but there is no type inference. So you have to declare a lot if you want to have unboxed uh, arithmetics, and then it is fast. Otherwise, it's quite slow. Also, generic dispatch is uh, performed by a single function, and there are no, there is no, the generic functions are not compiled. We are work, working on that. Compiler is capable of inlining C code, and uh, it is fast, but it runs very slowly because GCC is slow, or CLANG, and most of the time is spent in invoking this program. Uh, and it can produce a, a executable static and child libraries, object files. The fact that uh, executables are incrementally built, that it is composed of object files and maybe libraries, uh, shows, may show some problems with existing libraries which uh, don't declare properly their dependencies. Because if you don't declare that library B depends on library A, ECL will produce an executable without the A library and it, will, it won't work during the uh, linking phase. Uh, you can't detect this kind of problems with uh, other implementations because they simply dump image. And since they dump in image, they dump also what was used to build uh, the program. You could work with paths and try to do that, but it is not, not that easy. This blurry picture is Macrim visualizer for our internal representation after the uh, propagation pass. And this is, I think that this is the most important pa part of the talk for me. Uh, why do I enjoy working on ECL? Well, it is a perfect opportunity to learn about Common Lisp. Uh, it provides a lot of fun, and there are no diminishing, diminishing returns yet. When we put a lot of effort, there is a big impact. It has a big impact on how well ECL behaves. I pointed, I said a few days ago that uh, on IRC that I like working on ECL because it has many low-hanging fruits and a big big area which may be improved. I've encountered a polite smiles with a note that it it is a way to look at it, but I really do mean it. Uh, I feel that I have a real impact on how it on how it works and. It is not so solidified that modifying is very hard. It is easy to modify ECL. It is fun to work with. And and it is something uh, worth working. Here is a small syrup. Of course, it is uh, that uh, joke implementation, but it works. It reads a line of uh, line from the standard input, compiles it, and executes the code. So we may say print hello world from this small function, and it will print hello world. We can even invoke a for loop, which does what we expect it to do. Plans for the future. We want to improve the performance. Generic function dispatch is slow on ECL, it is a bottleneck, and we want to implement the fast generic function dispatch as proposed by Robert Schrand. Uh, 
uh, before the release, we have merged the code which adds stamps to classes, so it is a first step to, to implement that. Also, ECL startup time is slow if there is a lot of code to load because each file is loaded and initialized. Uh, there is already some work merged which improves that state. We do serialize uh, objects. Uh, there is a merge request proposed by Marius to pre-compile uh, C headers and it improves the, uh, the loading speed and compilation speed as well. And we want to add more immediate types for 64-bit uh, builds because um, ECL was written with 32 bits in mind, so we have fixed num, we have a, fi a fixed num, we have uh, a list, and we have a character, but we could have added single floats, we could have added more types, so it is more performant. There is a ticket on, on our back tracker, uh, so you may see details of, of proposed uh, tagging schemes. Features. I'd like to personally bring back the limited continuations and bring uh, back green threads. So it is possible to have this end-to-end -end mapping where we have uh, a few native threads and on each one runs a green thread. Green threads are really cheap to create, really cheap to stop, so they are very good for uh, scalability. Uh, it would be nice to implement uh, a functionality save list and die. For instance, there is an interesting presentation by Daniel Colasion, uh, which uh, proposes portable damper for Emacs. And he describes how to do it portably without problems which are encountered due to uh, function unexec, which is a hack, which is very well preserved, but it is still a hack. And I think that uh, ECL would benefit greatly if we have provided uh, optional contrips, which may be built into the library statically, SQLite 3 and BSSO, because they are very convenient for writing software. And refactors. Uh, our uh, separation of passes in compiler is that we have this abstraction pa abstract pass which works on list data internal representation and propagate types, we can do a lot of stuff there. And then we have paths with abstract C machine, which produces code, which is tailored for this C compiler, this uh, particular integer sizes, uh, float representations, whatsoever. But in practice, uh, we have a few shortcuts in there, like the first path likes to put C in line uh, code, which is fine, but moving it to the third path would provide the separation which is needed to create new backends like, for instance, bytecode backend. Which if we are able to create a bytecode backend for, for our compiler, this will be a proof, proof that we have separated passes cleanly and it works. Uh, type inference pass is very important. We don't have it, uh, but as I have mentioned, ECL is capable of producing very performant code, but it must know about the types. So Knowing about the types without annotations would greatly benefit uh, user libraries. And from minor goals, introducing a tar target uh, compiled to source without invoking to GCC would be nice. So I'm creating, uh, I'm compiling, uh, say, border threads, and it produces C sources and, ma and the make file, which is needed to run. So I can copy this directory to a target machine and compile it with their uh, common list compiler. Also, ECL, thanks to this abstract representation of the C machine, uh, cross compilation is supported, but has some problems. Improving this abstraction would be great. So that, that's also uh, on a wish list. There is a lot of other things I'd like to see in, on ECL, but. These are something I can think of some our closest things to do. And I think that that would be all. Our past is dignified and our present is bright. Our future is promising. Thank you.